Salutations and welcome to Kirby Plays Games. In this video, I am going to be sharing my tier list and rankings for every vehicle in 7 Days to Die. I will be considering both their accessibility and their utility. In other words, how easy they are to acquire and how useful they are in the game world. You are totally welcome to disagree with the ranks I assign, and if you would rank them differently, please feel free to drop your own tier list in the comments with some explanation as to why you would place them differently. Enjoy the video, and let's get started. In last place, at rank 5, we have the mini bike. The thing that stands out to me about this vehicle is that even though it is at least twice as difficult to craft as the bicycle, it is not much better than the bicycle. Not only do you require over twice the materials and an additional level of grease monkey, but you also need an engine. And what do we get for this effort? An awkward looking vehicle that requires gasoline to run and has a top speed which is around the same as the bicycle. Indeed, the only real benefit is the increased storage space allowing you to stash 27 items, which is 3 times the storage that the bicycle has. Honestly, I usually skip this vehicle in my own playthroughs, since I don't consider it worth the materials it costs to make. It is worth noting that this tiny vehicle struggles with hills, doesn't do much against zombies, and if this thing runs out of gas, you will really miss your trusty bicycle. In the next tier, we have the Gyrocopter. This is the second most resource intensive vehicle to construct, and requires a high tier of knowledge to create. This is a pretty big ask, however there are a few key benefits that might make it worth the effort. The main advantage of this vehicle is that it can fly, which allows you to easily access difficult to reach places on the map. This is mainly useful for easy access to loot on the top of large buildings, but also has some benefit in certain PvP or multiplayer situations. Additionally, it is worth noting that it has the second highest storage of any vehicle in the game, with a whopping 45 item slots. That said, the controls can take some getting used to, landing is often a challenge, and most seasoned 7 Days to Die players have at least one story of that time they accidentally ejected themselves from the vehicle while flying. The truth is that the benefit of easy loot access is not as useful by the time you have the materials and knowledge to craft this flying machine. And though it would seem that flying is a good way to escape the zombie horde, this is not necessarily true. This is because the gyrocopter's speed is on par with the bicycle and the minibike, and with the way this thing guzzles gas, there are just better vehicle options to outpace and outlast the Blood Moon Horde. In my opinion, the gyrocopter has some niche utility, but with its high cost of construction, it is more of a novelty or a status symbol. That said, it does add some flavor to the game and can definitely be fun to mess around with. Just don't press E while airborne, unless you feel like meeting the ground quickly. The bicycle comes in at the middle of my list. The speed is nothing special, and it only holds 9 items in storage, but it is by far the easiest vehicle to craft, and a much more efficient way to get around than walking or running. It does depend on stamina, but this is sort of an advantage, as it is the only vehicle in the game that does not require gas to run. Getting a bicycle is a real game changer in terms of mobility, and even though I have ranked it fairly low on this list, it is something almost every survivor should pick up when they have the chance. Next we have the 4x4 truck. This vehicle is the most expensive to craft in terms of materials, but it has some great features that bring it almost to the top of the list. Aside from having the largest storage capacity in the game at 81 item slots, it also features the ability to hold two players. This is huge, as it makes it by far the best vehicle for cooperative raiding and looting. It is also tied for the fastest vehicle in the game, and is an absolute tank when it comes to off-roading and crunching zombies. In addition, it's got significant durability, with its only real downside being the expensive material costs and the fact that it is a bit of a gas guzzler. However, these are certainly outweighed by the benefits it brings to the table, 
and its high utility, especially in cooperative play, bring it almost to the top of my list. Finally, at the very top, we have the motorcycle. This vehicle is the perfect balance of utility and accessibility in Seven Days to Die. It takes more materials than the bicycle and minibike, but it is far less costly to construct than the 4x4 and the gyrocopter. It has a respectable 36 item slots in its storage, and its top speed is tied with the 4x4 truck, making it one of the fastest vehicles in the game. That said, its handling is much better than the truck in my opinion, making it very fun to ride and also meaning that the motorcycle will usually come out on top in a race between the two. It has no problem flipping zombies if they get in your way, it's pretty forgiving on gas for the speed you get, and honestly, it just looks awesome. With these benefits and a very reasonable crafting cost, many players, myself included, will skip crafting a mini bike and start saving materials up for a motorcycle as their next vehicle after securing a bicycle. Of course, you can only have one person on the motorcycle as opposed to two players in the 4x4 truck, but with a much lower material cost, you can likely craft several motorcycles before you are even close to having the knowledge and resources required for the 4x4. It's this balance of features and accessibility that, in my opinion, makes the motorcycle the best vehicle in 7 Days to Die. So that is my opinion, but what do you think of these rankings? Would you rank anything differently? Let me know in the comments if you agree, or what you would rank differently, and why. Also if you enjoyed this video, please do consider liking and subscribing to the channel. Most importantly, have an excellent day.